Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would brush up on the postnatal depression subject. It seemed to be quite a popular hit from my last two videos that I uploaded but I thought I would just kind of do a brief overview of some of my symptoms, where I went after that, how I, how I did seek medical help and kind of thing. I have got specifically two support groups that I can point you in the right direction of as well. I'm lucky enough to have got into contact with these ladies through the PND videos that I had put previously and there are some amazing ladies in that group so I'm very excited to share that with you as well. Again fortunately I feel very privileged that I am now a part of one of the groups Hopefully I can bring some experience and advice to different people in different groups in the upcoming months. So let's get started. So one of the feelings I felt was guilt and regret. I would put these two under the same line because it kind of covers everything. I feel guilty for being such a rubbish mum. I hold regret every day over some of the feelings I felt back then, not enjoying it. I feel regret every day because I feel like I should have been that perfect mum um, that Sophia should have had from the start and I was never like that. I feel guilty because I can't sit down and say in a group full of mothers that I enjoyed parenthood because so far it's been bloody hard. I suppose I feel guilty every day of my life really because I feel like I'm not like every normal mum. Um, I don't know if that does come down to the postnatal depression, I don't know if it comes down to just my experiences with everything I've dealt with, but I have found parenthood really, really, really hard. Yes, I've enjoyed it. Um, yes, there's been spectacular times, enjoyable times. It is absolutely amazing watching Sophia grow and turn into this most beautiful, funny little girl ever. But I feel like every step that we've grown, there's been other kind of back step taken, if that makes sense. You know, it was great when she was a newborn because she was that newborn and everybody loves the newborn stage. But I, I really didn't enjoy it because we were going through the cow's milk protein allergy stage. It was really difficult. It was great when she became crawling, but it was difficult because she learned to crawl and grab things and... There's just so many different emotions involved, but I just feel like everybody, or every mother that I've spoken to that says, oh my god, I absolutely love it. There is obviously people out there, I'm not, going to, I'm not disputing that and I'm not saying people are lying, but I just feel like I'm not one of those mothers. I am a mother of, oh my god, it's such hard work. Like, I never expected it to be this hard. Um, and I suppose for for that I do feel guilty because I feel like I am the only one that ever voices my opinion on how bad I feel like it's been. Um, and I'm not trying to get sympathy for, I'm not trying to say that I'm the only one that's ever tired and although it might seem that way but I feel like I'm the only person that ever says like oh my, oh my god it's so hard like why do, why am I the only one who finds this so difficult? I feel a lot of guilt and regret that I feel like I've just wished life and time away with Sophia. I feel like when she was a baby I couldn't wait because everybody said wait till they get to the 12 week stage they'll start sleeping. I couldn't wait for that. Then after that it was like you know I can't wait till she's six months old. I can't wait till she's a year old. I can't wait till she's 18 months and just so on so on and so on. And I just feel like I've completely wished life away. Number two is blurred. I feel like the past two years have gone by so fast, although I have felt every single minute. Um, I do feel like I've just had kind of blinkers on, so I can't really remember what has happened in the past two years. Everything just feels like a bloody fog. Is, is basically how I feel like I've been living. Number three is failure. I feel like a fa failure every day. I feel like I was, I've never been the mother that I wanted to be or I imagined to be. I feel like I've been a fa failure to my parents, to my husband, to any family members, to friends. I know everything changes when you have a baby. I'm well aware of that and I never expected anything differently but 
I have been such a failure in different ways, not spending enough time or giving my husband enough attention. Friends and family, I feel like I've kind of drawn away from them because I'm so busy trying to focus on everything else. And I just, all over, I feel like a failure of a mum. I, I feel like I could have done so much better. And number four has to be pressures. I have felt unbelievably under so much pressure since the day Sophia was born, whether it was feeding her, changing her, bathing her, looking after her in general. And probably one of the biggest things is pressure I felt admitting to people that I had postnatal depression whilst I had a newborn baby. I felt so scared in case people were going to take her away, in case people judged me that I wasn't a good enough mother, I couldn't cope with her. Just all over, I felt like there was so much pressure on me. I felt like everybody was looking at me all the time, just watching for everything I'd done wrong or any time I broke down. And I feel like people still do do that and they do judge and they think, oh, anything, she's got to break down. It's not like that. It's really, really difficult. But I find adjusting to parenthood extremely difficult on top of dealing with postnatal depression and a cow's milk protein allergy with a newborn baby. I had never had to be responsible for anybody else in my life before and all of a sudden I had this little baby who needed looked after and me and her dad were the only ones who could look after her and it was our responsibility and I just found that so hard. I find the pressure of trying to adjust to parenthood so hard and people just expect it to happen and yeah for that I just feel like there is too much pressure on new mums and new dads and new parents these days. It's nobody's perfect and I think people just need to respect that and expect it. So I hope you guys have found these kind of symptoms and breakdowns of how I was feeling quite helpful. Um, so what I want to do is tell you about the two sources that I have that will hopefully help in your support. So the first lady I, or first group I could really point you to is a group on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and it is called PND and Me, started by a lovely lady called Rosie Adams two years ago um, after going through the same symptoms and story herself and she was quite cut off for where she stayed so she decided to do this social media group to help everybody else out there to gain some support. So what I will do is I will link it down below but there is a Twitter chat every Wednesday from 8 to 9 p.m. You have to do is use the hashtag PND hour and obviously just look at your latest and it will take you through to the chat. And the next group I want to take you over to is Maternal Mental Health Change Agents Information page. Again, I will link it down below. Um, luckily enough, through Rosie, I have managed to get into contact with these fantastic ladies and amazing support groups. And I am so excited because I'm actually going to a conference on the 8th of May which I'm attending and it'll be the first time that I actually meet all the change agents um, within the Scotland area so I am really excited about that but basically their aim is to challenge the stigma surrounding PND so yeah if you haven't had any support through your GP or health visitor or anything like that or you feel like you are just coming along with the symptoms, please join into PND Hour or join the information group and get some support from the lovely ladies on there, including myself, and we will try and point you in the right direction. And again, it's just so amazing that there's so many people out there and such a great support group. So yeah, the links are down below and I hope everybody found this video quite helpful and I will speak to you soon. Bye!